everybody, Chris here from QSC. In this video, we're gonna show you how to navigate the user interface panel on a K.2 speaker. The K.2 series offers a new user interface experience. Channel A has the ability to select between line or mic level input. Channel B can be line or high Z instrument level input for a passive pickup system. The preset section gives the ability to select one of 11 different presets based on your application. Everything from live presets to instrument presets, all the way to a studio monitor preset for studio mixing. An adjustable crossover allows you to select a crossover frequency that matches the subwoofer that you're using with your PA system. Up to 100 milliseconds of delay time can be out of the box. And a four band parametric EQ can be adjusted to tailor the sound the way that you'd like. And in the settings section, you can save it all as a scene and recall it later once you've got it dialed in. With your independent gain controls for each channel, you'll see we have a third input with an eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So now you can plug your phone or personal music player device directly into the speaker. Channels A and B have either an XLR or balanced quarter inch combo input. The XLR routes directly underneath are parallel line level pre-gain outputs that can be taken to a mixer or daisy chain to another speaker without affecting the signal. And then the mix out is a post gain mix output of all three channels summed together. Now that you know how the user interface works on the K.2 speaker, you can connect, adjust, and tailor your sound to be just the way you want it.